Hello everyone, in this short review, we will disassemble the membrane water pressure reducer and see its device inside. If you don't understand what it is and why you need a water pressure reducer at all, watch my other video which tells about the principle of operation of this device and why it is needed, you can find a link to the video in the description or comments on this video. So, let's see how this model of water pressure reducer works from the inside. The reducer has a body, top cover and bottom plug made of brass. For convenience, the reducer has one quarter inch pipes on both sides for connecting a pressure gauge, the pipes are plugged with nylon plugs. The reducer has a flow direction indicator in the form of an arrow, which determines the correct direction of the medium movement. We unscrew the adjusting sleeve together with the fixing nut and take out the spring. Now I unscrew the top cover of the housing under which we see the upper part of the stem with the membrane. Remove the distribution ring. Next, I unscrew the lower plug of the body. The plug has an o-ring, also, in the body of the plug there is a damping chamber in which the lower part of the rod with a rubber o-ring is placed and moves. We unscrew the lower part of the stem together with the spool part, which is a rubber gasket pressed against the stem with a screw having a through hole. Now we take out from the body a rod consisting of two halves between which there is a rubber membrane. This is what it looks like fully assembled. Importantly, the gearbox housing has a valve seat insert made of stainless steel, which implies increased reliability of the spool assembly during its operation. We assemble the water pressure reducer in the reverse order. And that's all, good luck to everyone and see you again.